Hi everybody, hope you're doing marvellously well. This is going to be a fun one this week, because we are trying out the Austrian Audio OC818, and we're doing a giveaway. So we have this great new microphone, the Austrian Audio OC818, to try out. The first thing I'm going to do is show you the performance. This is a song that I wrote with my friend Liana, and it's about my wife. It's called Perfect to Me. The song was cut by Mr. Mark Broussard, the incredibly talented Mr. Mark Broussard. So he has a version of it on Spotify, which you can go and listen to as well. This is me singing my song about my wife. You laugh, your smile, you drive me wild. Your eyes intoxicate I get restless Leaves me breathless I can hardly wait To be a man the best I can To sing you songs, to make you dance I'll be the fool who takes a chance To end up next to you I wouldn't change a thing To shut and cut off jeans From your head down to your feet You're perfect to me The way you tie your hair The way you just don't care You're perfect to me From your head down to your feet That I love to watch you break I'm confessing You keep me guessing I can hardly wait To be a man the best I can To sing you songs, to make you dance Be the fool who takes a chance To end up next to you I wouldn't change a thing To shut and cut off jeans From your head down to your feet You're perfect to me The way you tie your hair The way you just don't care You're perfect to me From your head down to your feet You got me singing, oh, oh, oh You got me losing all Girl, you got me falling into you You got me singing, oh, oh, oh You got me spinning, don't let go Girl, you got me falling into you You, I wouldn't change a thing To shut a cut off jeans From your head down to your feet You're perfect to me Now, the thing is, it's most of the time we do great microphones. We've done ribbon microphones, we've done dynamics, we've done all kinds of fun things. What is special about this particular mic, it records the front and the back of the capsule at the same time. Austrian Audio is an Austrian company. Yes, I know. And it's made in Vienna. And it is a lot of the ex-AKG factory employees people that made these microphones and designed these microphones for AKG. 
Those of you may remember that AKG, unfortunately, a few years ago, just a handful of years ago, closed down its factory in Vienna, which had been making some of the most famous microphones of all time. And with that, obviously, key members of staff left and started other companies. And one of those companies was, of course, Austrian Audio. So this is not only designed in Austria, it's also made in Austria by those very same people. We got to talk at NAM with one of the designers who basically gave us uh, a breakdown of what was great about this capsule. Taking from the classic 414, or as we used to call it in the UK, 414, taking that classic capsule design and actually returning to a little bit more to its roots. Therefore, it has that sort of inherent sound. Now, I have uh, C12s and C12As, and I'm wondering how this is going to perform, especially my mind against something like a C12A. It's kind of reminiscent in some ways, um, because of course the the silver finish. Now, it has all the usual things. It has a figure of eight all the way through to Omni. And of course, it has pads. And of course, it has a high pass filter from 0, 40, 80, and 160. So I'm going to leave everything open. You're going to see why, because there's two wonderful things that this does. First of all, there is an iPhone or a phone app, an Android, an app that you can control the polar pattern in real time. So if you flick this switch all the way over here, you can control it in real time. Why is that going to be useful? That's going to be useful in a live situation. This microphone takes up to 148 dB SPL, meaning you could pretty much put it anywhere you like. So somebody could have like eight of these and record a band live. You could put a pair of overheads on the kick drum, on a bass guitar, on some guitars, on a vocal, whatever you want, and then control the polar patterns, making it very, very tight, going to like a hyper or super cardio pattern, something as tight as you possibly can for better rejection. That also can be a blessing when used in different circumstances, i.e. in the middle of a live room when I'm tracking a band, maybe I'll want it to be Omni. Actually, when I come to think about it, you could experiment with room mics between Omni and Figure 8 song to song. You could print different things. But in a live situation, that's where the app on the phone comes in. Now, in a recording situation, you can also do that. But better still, you can take a stereo pair of cables, a pair of cables out of it. Use the microphone as a pure stereo microphone. So over a drum kit like this, we could pick up left and right at the same time. That would be fantastic as a room mic. If you just have one of these, look it in the middle of the room between the band, and suddenly you've got an amazing stereo image. All of that, and you won't get any better because there's going to be no phase problems because it's the front and back of the capsule simultaneously. But the next thing about it, and I think an, a really exciting thing, is you can change the polar pattern. If you record it in stereo, you can change the polar pattern after you've finished recording. So when we mix, we'll have a little bit of a mess around with it and you'll see what I can do. Anyway, so in the case comes said microphone, a connector here, which allows you to have the second cable. Pull this up here, plug this in, and there you have one XLR there and a second XLR there. Next thing up is this. This is good. It's actually a nice shock mount. It's well made. Trust me, I have a lot of shock mounts and some of them are really annoying when they come, these come undone really easily and you <laughs> try putting them back together when they get old. It's a regular clip if you're just going to put it in front of an instrument as a permanent installation maybe. Last but not least, a nice pop screen comes with it as well, which is actually, believe it or not, quite unusual with condensers. Not all condensers come with pop screens. And of course it comes in a metal case. So here's the session. It's quite simple. You, you watched it being recorded, so it's a kick a snare, acoustic, acoustic double, acoustic intro, then there's a Nashville acoustic in the last chorus, also a Nashville acoustic double, a ukulele, a mandolin, bass guitar, electric, the background vocal just at the end on that last chorus, an overlap vocal, and of course the lead vocal. So very simple, but you'll see every single one of these is a stereo file because it's recording the front of the mic and the back of the mic at the same time. The way that those two things relate to each other is what creates the different polar patterns. Here we have a kick drum. As you can see, it's a stereo file. The left-hand channel, let's make it uh, bigger here, is the front and the right-hand channel is the rear. Let's give it a listen. So 
So you hear the room, you hear, well, you hear a pretty natural sounding kick drum, you know, basically as you would in the room, because you've got the front side picking up the head, of course, but then the back side is picking up the room. Okay, so at the moment it's split into five bands, which is pretty spectacular, and you can see where the EQ points are here. Each one of these bands, I can adjust the polar pattern on. So for me, I'd make the low end really, really tight. Let's have a listen. But also the fact is, I can use this to also control EQ, really naturally, without any kind of phase issues. Let's think about this. Oh, that's crazy. So do the opposite. Bypass it a second. <laughs> so I'm going to try and mix using these polar pattern adjustments to see if I can use it for EQ. I mean, that, that kick's pretty good now. Probably a little too aggressive. Wow. But I love that it, it's breaking up frequency ranges and, and, and allow me to basically EQ without any phase shifting. I've seen polar pattern controls before, like we have on the app, but I've never actually seen one where I can use it like this in individual bands. We can also go to one band. Let's have a listen. Oh, I see. That's pretty dramatic. If I go to a fairly tight polar pattern here, It's a really natural sounding kick. See, now, just going to like a, a nice tight cardioid, I'm immediately thinking, oh, that's a pretty nice sounding kick drum. I mean, bypass it a second. Okay, let's pull this plug in down. I'm going to copy it down to the snare. So it's actually going to default to the cardioid. Bypass it. So what's interesting, if I want more of that room in, I can leave it as equal front and back. But I'm enjoying that. Okay, let's bring that down. Now I've got an MV2 on here. I can mute that for a second on the acoustic. So why don't we go here to the five band and see if we can use, let's flatten all this out. Okay, so it's all set to cardioid at the moment there. Let's default all these back. So it's set to cardioid. And I'm just going to see if I can use it, because obviously there's a boominess from the acoustic. See if I can use it to shape that. Oh, 
I like that. I'm I'm grabbing it here, but I can also grab it there. See, when I've opened it up to Omni on the low end, it actually, before I even decreased uh, the volume of it, the gain of it, it made the low end just more dissipated, obviously. It's not as focused as when it's in cardioid. Because the back obviously isn't picking up as much low end. Most of that low end that we were getting was directly from the source of the sound hole. Even though it wasn't miking up the sound hole, the sound hole's close enough that it's hitting the front of the mic. Okay, copy this parallel pattern down here. And another thing we're doing is we're testing out how many instances you can get. I don't think anybody's tried this yet. We're on the fourth instance of this. <laughs> Keeping a similar idea to the acoustic. Copy that setting I just did down to the mandolin. What I did on the kick drum, I'm going to use for the bass. So let's pull that down. Now, this is the bass setting here. And all we did on the kick drum on that, cardioid the whole thing. Let's have a listen. Bypassing it. Back onto cardioid. But if I go to five band um, and flatten all this out, I could go to the low end and make that more of a cardioid. Interesting. I uh, see. So those EQ points are fixed. I can't move them there. But there's a schnizzle ton of low end. I mean, it's unbelievably a huge amount. So let's bring that all down. Okay, so we're going to go and we'll take that to one band on the electric. I 
like it on the cardioid. <laughs> So I'm looking at the polar patterns here. There's actually an, a bump at about five or six k. So it's it's definitely um, um, it's definitely made for be in your face, very forward sounding. Because obviously at five or six k, that's really you know between that three to five k area, for instance. That's why it is a super sensitive. It's got a very high SPL of 148, uh, meaning you should you know use it like we did on electric guitars, on bass guitars, and everything. Let's just move it from Omni to Cardioid. I get restless, leaves me breathless. I can hardly wait to be a man the best I can to sing you songs. So the backside here. I get restless, leaves me breathless. And then the front side. I can hardly wait. Much nicer. To be a man the best I can To sing you songs, to make you dance I'll be the fool who takes a chance So that's interesting, where we're moving like the back and the front side So the front side in om more Omni So it's it's really interesting So I go back to the I get restless So that's cardioid favouring the front I can Cardioid favouring the rear to be a man the best I can To sing you songs, to make you dance I'll be the fool who takes a chance to next to you You should have cut off jeans From your head down to your feet You're perfect to me The way you tie your hair The way you just don't cardioid on the back side on that so the low end that's really really interesting solo it oh wow so we're soloing that Crazy. That's super piercing. This is where soloing can be dangerous because any one of those areas soloed sounds really ugly. So you're like, oh, I'm going to cut that, cut that, cut that. But if you think about it like this, that's like, you know, don't, that's like the Pink Floyd, wish you were here kind of intro acoustic guitar sound. Very narrow, but listen to these high mids here. Painful. So, oh, I want to cut those. Then you're going to lose all the personality at the top. And then these super high frequencies here, like this is about 12, 13K. I mean, it's ear piercing. Actually gives you a headache. So there you go. I think that um, that's another proof of like not to get too obsessionable in, in solo. I know there's a lot of, People, you know, we solo, we cut, we solo, we cut, we cut. And before you know it, you cut. What Things that you think are ugly are actually inherent in the sound. It's just a good sounding acoustic guitar mic when it's all in cardioid on the front side. 
and a little bit of cut on the low end and a little bit of boost on the high mids. There you go. Nice tool. Saves me an EQ. Leaves me breathless. I can hardly wait to be... Takes a chance to end up next to you. I wouldn't change a thing. But you should have cut off jeans from your head down to your feet. You're perfect to me. The way you tie your hair, the way you just don't. Primarily, what I like most about it is the fact that I can actually sit there and shape it and use it as an EQ. Um, I think that's pretty huge. You know, I've got a great acoustic guitar sound. The mic obviously sounds good, but it sounds so much nicer than applying an EQ. I'm not worried about any kind of phase shift. We didn't record with any compression or any EQ, and that's supernatural now. And not supernatural in the woo sense, but supernatural. Wow. Download these multi-tracks, play with them, get the plug in, mess around with it, and see how you can mix just using this. It's really, really great. Fantastic mic. And of course, um, what is wonderful about it, thank you, Austrian Audio, is we're doing a giveaway. So you can enter to win this mic. If you've already used it or you've played around with this kind of technology before, please let me know. I'd love to know more about it. We didn't do because we're in such a small room, but if we'd had a drummer in a room, I'd would have put the mic like at this angle, not front or back, but right down the middle in front of the kit and recorded it as a stereo mic as well. That's another great thing about having a microphone that records front and back is it's going to give you the best stereo you're ever going to hear in your life because zero, nada, nicked, no phase issues whatsoever. So please enter to win, have a marvelous time recording and mixing, and we'll see you all again very, very soon. Thanks for hanging out. Mm -hmm.